Visit ASTLessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hi, so I'm Robert from AST Lessons, and for this video, I shall play with fire with Vance Joy. Now, the main part will be a transpose version for regular tuning, but in part 11, I'll show how to adapt to play in G6 tuning like Vance does. Now first off, we have a G. And after that, a C, either with little finger. Or with ring finger. Then lastly, an F. I'd like this. I like this, adding third fret A string. And for strumming, here's how you mostly play. So number one sounds like this. And slowly. And then we move the down strum from here to here, which gives you number two. And slowly. And if you want to switch it up more, you can remove this and or this strum. You can also mix them up by, for example, adding a strum here. On the LC Plus paper, I've written pattern rounds per chord, and no number means one round. But I've also underlined where the strumming strays from these two. But other than the bridge and interlude, you just strum once and let ring. So in this tuning, we can still do two out of three additions. And the first one is to do a hammer on on the F. So we release on G string and add again. And it's always done on either one or both of these two beats. That is number one and seven. But he only does it when playing pattern one or two. So for example, on number one, it looks like this, adding both. Once again. And 
then the other thing is the transition between the first and second chord. Now in this tuning, it's not as easy, but you can do it. So we first add first fret A string on this beat. And then on the last one, we move to fifth fret. And then we're going to C. We just move little finger back down, releasing the rest. So slowly, all together on pattern one. Once again. Now on the bridge, it's the same chords, and you can also use the same strumming. But if you want details, we start with one strum every fourth beat, which means once on G, once on C, once on F, and then for the second round of the F, we play pattern three. Slowly. One and two and three and four and. And all of this is played once more. Then after that, on row two, we start with one strum on each on the first two. And after that, we play like this twice on the F. So it's five down strums with a slightly longer pause before the next round. So slower, like this. And once again, we repeat all that on the next three chords. And then lastly, for the interlude, we just play three even strums, followed by a long pause, one time on G and C, and twice on F.
So the way you actually plays it is in G6 tuning, which looks like this. Then for chords, you start with a C. To an F in this shape. And lastly, the B flat at 2. And the transition from the first to second chord now looks like this. So first we add index finger, first fret E string on this beat. Then the third fret with ring finger here. And then on to F. So all together, slowly. Once again, even slower. And then for the two hammer-ons, we only use middle finger. So on F, it's like this. And on B flat, add two, like this. And it's of course done on the same beats. And now, lastly, from F to B flat, we keep these two on the last beat. So it's like this. Alright, so there's two options you can try instead. Number one. And slowly. 